Hey there! In this video, we are going to discuss few things about the cellular mobile telecommunications. First of all, I know everyone already uses a mobile phone here. If not, I don't know where in the world you came from. Gadgets are being used more often than books. I mean, most of us, even the toddlers, already know how to access such gadgets. Technology changes the course of our lives by changing our attitude toward it. Most of us are just sitting in front of the computer, surfing, or just merely scrolling the phone. Our mobile phones well, it makes our life easier and full of entertainment. We either use it for texting, calling, or entertaining. But, didn't you ever wonder how you would be able to call someone even if he or she is a thousand miles away? Okay, so here we go. What is a cellular mobile communication? Well, it is a system which uses large number of low-power wireless transmitters to create cells. Cells are the basic geographic service area of a wireless communication system. Variable power levels allow cells to be sized according to the subscriber density and demand within a particular region. By the way, what does cellular concept mean? Instead of using one powerful transmitter, many low power transmitters replace their total coverage area. For example, by dividing a metropolitan region into 100 different area cells with low power transmitter using 12 conversation channels each, the system capacity theoretically could be increased from 12 conversations or voice channels using one powerful transmitter to 1200 conversation channels using 100 low power transmitters. Did you know that the traditional mobile service was structured similar to television broadcasting but with one very powerful transmitter located at the highest spot in an area? It would broadcast a radius of up to 50 kilometers. During a call, two parties are on one voice channel. When the mobile unit moves out of the coverage area of a given cell site, the reception becomes weak. At this point, the cell site in use requests a handout. The system switches the call to a stronger frequency channel in use site without interrupting the call or alerting the user. The call continues as long as the user is talking, and the user does not notice the hand of a call. Did you know that the term cellular comes from the honeycomb shape of the areas into which a coverage region is divided that are represented as hexagons? Engineers discovered that the interference effects were not due to the distance between areas, but to the ratio of the distance between areas to the transmitter power of the areas. By reducing the radius of an area by 50%, service providers could increase the number of potential customers in an area Fourfold. Systems based on areas with a 1 km radius would have 100 times more channels than systems with areas 10 km in radius. 
Speculation led to the conclusion that by reducing the radius of areas to a few hundred meters, millions of calls could be served. 